here's what you have to do. Go to Zillow and type in the city where you're gonna be thrifting. Set your filters from highest price to lowest price. Click on the most expensive house, cry because you'll never be able to afford a house like that. And then preferably you're gonna wanna find a house that's in a neighborhood with like priced houses around it. Then go to your maps, type in that house's address and find the closest Goodwill to that neighborhood. Boom, rich people stuff. I love to wear something cute when I'm thrifting. So today's outfit du jour is a band tee, Greta Van Fleet, ripped jeans, my favorite shoes, and it also helps to have a proper send off. This is Alan Thicke. He is the fattest stray cat known to man and I will win his affections. All right, let's go thrifting. In my opinion and experience, the two best days to thrift are Monday and Tuesday. And here's my theory as to why that is. So most people have their yard sales on Saturdays and Sundays. And then instead of packing everything up that didn't sell and bringing it back into their house, I think a lot of people are loading up their cars and taking all that stuff to thrift stores to donate. And then of course I take into account that Saturdays and Sundays are when thrift stores see the most foot traffic. That's when they sell the most stuff. And so by the time Monday comes around, they don't want the floor to look super picked through. And so that's when they're restocked. That's not fact, that's just me running my mouth, but I have always found the best stuff on Mondays and Tuesdays at thrift stores. But don't worry if you can't go shopping those days because I think that a lot of thrift stores as well restock little by little throughout the week and it changes every single time you go in. All right, since I was talking that whole time, here's what I bought. Got these cute little floral jars that are gonna look amazing in my kitchen for spring. I got this mushroom lamp, this little mini portrait for a gallery wall, and this other lamp that I have no idea what I'm gonna do with. Let's go ahead and style our first thrift find. I can't resist, it's gonna be those jars. Back about six months ago, I took the doors off of this cabinet and then I painted the inside and I called it my faux open shelving trial run because I didn't wanna rip down the cabinets but I wanted the look of open shelving. And they've actually grown on me so much that I don't think I'm ever gonna tear the cabinet down. Anyway, here's what those jars look like styled. I think they are so perfect to bring a little bit of the floral pattern in for spring. And I think they look great. All right. On to the second store. If you have never been to one of these, please, I beg you, you must. The Habitat for Humanity Restore store. It has big pieces like windows, doors, bookshelves, armoires. Wouldn't this be so perfect for a plant shelf? Speaking of plants, file cabinets. I've seen some super cute ideas for file cabinets, like using the individual drawers for plants, turning it on its side and using it for a planter or keeping it upright and planting little flowers in each drawer. Isn't that adorable? Okay, back to the thrift store. They had a bunch of light fixtures here and I actually found one that's like exactly the same as one that I bought last year. It was $5 and I totally didn't even use it as a light fixture. Always look at thrift stores for items that you can repurpose. So this one, I tore the wiring out which left little holes in the bottom. Perfect for drainage holes for a plant. Then I just cleaned out the inside because there was a bunch of gunk and then I used silicone on the edges that would prevent any dirt or moisture from leaking out. And then I just planted a little enjoy pothos. The cool thing about the Habitat store is they also get new stuff from time to time, like rugs. And then look at this couch. This is the most beautiful furniture I've ever found at a thrift store, which explains why it was sold. And then also look for things that you can easily cover up the imperfections. Like this ottoman was only $10 and you could cover the stain with a blanket or with a tray. On to thrift store number three. Have you ever been here? They put the dirt in dirt cheap. It is always filthy, but you know that you are in for a good deal. So what they do is they purchase liquidations, out of season goods, overstocks, customer returns, and closeouts from manufacturers and retailers. So this next lamp that I'm about to show you, they're still currently selling at Target in the Studio McGee collection. They just bought too many and they weren't selling. So they're now 40% off at dirt cheap. Here's the way it works. Here's this hearth and hand pool. It costs an upside down $40. You find this chart, find where it says $40 and then look next to it. And that's the actual price. So that pool is $24. They also have art here, pillows. I want you to take a good look at this pillow. Remember it. You're gonna need this information in about 10 seconds. Okay, memorize the pillow. And then also remember this lamp. I have both of these things in my house right now and they're from Target. Here are some other good budget decor finds at Dirt Cheap. All of their faux plants looked pretty good. I found this lamp that they actually still have at Target right now. It's one of those like mini countertop lamps and it's $12 plus the 40% off. And right now at Target, it is 15, I believe. 
They had some really good lighting selections, both in the box and out of the box. I loved this gold one. And then they have some pretty nice furniture here as well. Now, how could I make a video about thrifting and not mention Facebook Marketplace? You can set filters for all kinds of stuff on here. You can look for exactly what you want. You can look at the free tab. Sometimes there are some absolute gems in the free section, or you can just scroll randomly and find stuff you didn't even know you needed quote needed. Okay, let's go back to the thrift finds that we got earlier in the day and I'll show you how I styled the rest of them. I knew right when I saw that mushroom lamp that I wanted to put it on top of my vintage hardware cabinet. I get questions about this all the time and yes, I do actually use it. I put like light bulbs, batteries, and spare pet supplies in there. Knickknacks basically. I'm going to put that mushroom lamp on top of a stack of books. Keep watching till the end for a surprise. I couldn't test that lamp out in the store so I didn't know this until I actually got it home and got it plugged in. By the end, I mean right here. I'm gonna show you what it does. It's a touch lamp. I love it even more now. And the last thrift find we have to style is this cute little itty bitty baby picture frame. Here is the giant bean bag in my studio. Here is me for size reference. And I have a gallery wall above this that I've been curating for about the last six months because I don't want to just go out and buy frames at a new big box store. I'm also waiting on the art. I am not keeping eight and a half by 11 and rainbow fish in here. It's not my aesthetic. I'm gonna get the art at the end, but I could put the little picture frame up here, over there. I just love the satisfaction of finding a picture frame at a thrift store and going, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for my gallery wall. And sometimes I actually like the art that comes in them. Some of them I'm gonna keep. Okay, y'all, thanks for thrifting with me today. That's about all I got. You've worn me out shopping. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. But look, here's the next one.